welcome back. I'm Pastor Cat. This is your weekly encouragement. Today, I have been thinking about strengths and weaknesses. Some of that just because I personally am getting older and I feel all the aches and pains of my body. I wake up and I just am not 18 anymore. That can be very frustrating if you let it. And that kind of brought me to an interesting passage. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 12. We're only doing three verses today, but I think you'll find them insightful. This is Paul, and Paul is actually talking to the church in Corinth. Corinth was a place, a city, if you will, and so because of it, it was all the believers that gathered there in Corinth. We believe that these letters that Paul is writing in the New Testament would have been distributed to all the different groups and all the different um, meeting places where believers would gather, this one specifically to the Corinth region. He starts off in verse 7 saying this, Because of the surpassing greatness of the revelation, for this reason, to keep me from exalting myself, I was giving a thorn in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me, to keep me from exalting myself. A lot of theologians over the years have argued about exactly what these, this means. Apparently, it is a physical defect of some sort that Paul had to deal with on the regular. And the way he sees that is that this was given to him to make sure that he would not exalt self, but constantly lift up Christ and all that Christ means so that he doesn't become some sort of uh, superstar or hero, pop star of the faith, if you will. He just would be Paul, a messenger of Christ. He goes on in verse 8, and I think this is the bit that I find probably the most encouraging. It says this, concerning this, I implore the Lord three times that this might leave me. This is the Apostle Paul himself praying to God the Father, saying, please take this physical defect from me. And he went into his prayer closet, and he took this serious, and he did it three times. Verse 9. And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. Your power is perfected in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I will rather boast about my weakness. I love God's response to Paul here. That this weakness, this perceived problem he sees with himself, is actually the thing that makes him the most powerful in the faith. And that's encouraging to me because there are certainly times in my life where I feel weak or I feel that there is a lacking in me. And if I could remove it, I would be much more powerful for the faith or I'd be in much better shape to help the kingdom. But God's response to Paul reminds me that God is made powerful because of my weaknesses, not because he's removed my weaknesses. He goes on, therefore, I'm well content with weakness, with insults, with distress, with persecutions, with difficulties for Christ's sake, for when I am weak, then I am strong. And that is the last bit of encouragement I think he has for us. If Paul could be comfortable, content, if you will, with weakness, with insult, with distress, with persecution, and with difficulty, for Christ's sake, then so can I. How much more blessing do I have in my life than even you find here in Paul's writings? You see, every time I get a chance to share my faith or every time I see a blessing come to me from the Father, I know that I didn't earn it, that I didn't pull myself up by my own bootstraps. It's not like I worked hard enough to do something for the kingdom. This is all blessing. God does those things through us as believers because of our weakness and through our weakness, even if it includes insults and distress. Well, that's my encouragement for you this week. I hope it has been as encouraging for you as it has been for me. We'll see you again next week.